Hello everybody, welcome again. This is the Mad Salvi. This time we are talking about Mama Max, a creator who is really doing some dumb things as you can see on the screen. But first, for those of you who do not know who Mama Max is, they are a creator just like myself, but they're doing different things. What they're doing specifically is that they are a what's called a predator poacher or someone who's trying to get people who do SA and that type of stuff to other people, trying to get them arrested, trying to get them under, you know, in jail under the jail if possible so the big background that i want to give you guys is like i said he says he's, he's a predator hunter he helps victims he ended up actually housing one of the victims to stay with him supposedly to help him out but a lot of people are thinking that it's more this is just my supposition my alleged my, my allegedly whatever stuff is that it was to get more credibility on his end and so people don't uh criticize him as much because if you're talking to an actual victim, you're not going to criticize as much. At least you're going to treat it with kids' gloves as you should because they're a victim, of course. Uh, he makes uh, videos calling people out, calling people that he has the victims mentioned and everything like that. He tries to do investigations and, you know, call them out for whatever it is that they are accused of doing. Of course, everyone is innocent until proven guilty, but he's a, he says he has a lot of evidence and, you know, that's what he goes on based on the videos. Uh, he sends these videos. What The reason why this whole thing started is that he sent videos, the videos and the information that he had, all the information that he had, to uh, Mudahar, to Moist Critical, to Nicholas Diorio, other big creators to try to get himself signal boosted in order, you know, he tried to play the whole card of <clears throat> you're helping out victims, you're doing something great for everybody, you are going to be helping out people. It's not just going to be signal boosting me, you're going to be signal boosting the issue and you're going to get people helped. That's what he tries to say. Uh, he asked them to sign an NDA because according to what he was saying, you know, there's a lot of information out there uh, and he doesn't want the information to get out and to possibly in make his investigations moot, uh, you know, hinder the investigation. And he also later claimed to Mudahar and to Nicholas Diorio in a call which Mudahar has in his video. You can look it up. It's, it's his Mama Max video specifically. It's an hour and 40 minutes long or something like that. So it's very long. That's why I'm kind of giving you a compressed version of everything. He admitted there that a lot of what he does in his filming is kind of art, is, you know, recreations. It's, you know, because he supposedly got into a an essay, one of the uh, people accused in their Discord server and you know, got all that information and blah, blah, blah. And he said all of that, the Discord server he created himself, he became the admin of it to kind of, you know, make uh, the recreations of all of that stuff, which I think is not very smart. It's not very good. So moving on, but moving on, we're, we're going to leave that there. Moving on. He was called out for this and he said people should always treat his things as fictional unless he puts out names there and actually puts out faces. Then that's what the actual two part. Uh, which, you know, is bad because if you're saying all, a lot of stuff is fake, what is fake and what is reality? You're leaving that to your viewer. You should actually say this is a recreation as all uh, media outlets usually do. This is a recreation. This is the real story. That's what you should do. But no, he has it all mixed in where it kind of blends in together. And it's really bad for anybody watching. Uh, he gets the victim, one of the person that's, that's living with him, one of the survivors, uh, to try to guilt trip. Some ordinary gamers and Nicholas Diorio for trying to, you know, question him and all that type of stuff. So basically, they get defensive. They get very defensive. Uh, he gets very angry that he's not being signal boosted and that he's getting questioned. He admits to Nicholas Diorio and some ordinary gamers on a Discord call that he used ChatGPT for legal advice because ChatGPT understands laws or something. That was his basic thing. Uh, as we all know, ChatGPT gets it based on, yes, on the internet stuff, but it can be very wrong. And it tells you all the time, we can get a lot of these things wrong. Don't take it as a credible source. Search for things yourself. Even ChatGPT says it itself. So now we get to the to the current day. That was everything, everything, everything. Nicholas Diorio and Mudahar made their videos on it. And now we get to the current day. He's angry. He's very angry. And what does he do when he's very angry? He goes on his own Discord server, Discord server that he has uh, apparently survivors on there. And um, I don't blame any of them, but I blame him for what he's saying right here. 
Spencer and I are cons- yeah, he's at everyone, which is basically makes every single person in the Discord server know that you're talking about them. <coughs> Excuse me. Spencer and I are considering a class action lawsuit against Mudahar for breaching our non-disclosure agreement. Mudahar, as far as I know, never really signed it. I, as far as I know, and a lot of NDAs are unenforceable in many places, including Canada, I believe. California over here, it's unenforceable. Uh, inciting harassment on live streams, defamation, and causing emotional distress. He's playing the victim at this point. He's extremely rich, so the lawsuit seeks a million dollars in damages to the distrib- to be distributed to all of you. So at this point, it's not so much that he he's wants justice. It's that he's angry and he wants revenge. He wants revenge and he wants money. So it's, it's, this is, you're showing your cards. Your cards are, you are not actually thinking that you're the victim. You're not convinced to yourself that you're the victim of, of defamation and everything. You just want money because you say, since he's rich, I'm going to make it a million dollars. You know, if it was just defamation, you just go for defamation and have the court decide how much you get in return. But no, you are money hungry. At least you're showing it right here. All you would have to do is testify against him, and particularly regarding his actions, not speaking to any of you about the evidence and the impact his behavior has had on you. Spencer has agreed to be the lead plaintiff, and I, I'll do all the hard work. What kind of hard work is there if the people are going to be doing, you know, being actual uh, witnesses and testifying against him and all that kind of stuff? They're going to be doing the hard work. You're just going to be standing there and getting all the profit, pretty much. So please let us know if you are interested this could have a huge impact on the case against Camden. Camden is supposedly one of the SA, you know, perpetrators. And he's supposedly someone that we're, they're trying to really get. And that's the information that he sent out to some ordinary gamers and everybody else. Even someone on his server was like, dude, no. Can this stop? Like, even in his own Discord server, they were like, nah, dude, this, this, is, not, this is not what you want to do. Now, he didn't just stop there. His megalomaniac, whatever mind, his, his, his narcissistic mind, these narcissists, we keep hitting this on this channel. Narcissists, they don't know when to stop. Narcissists, they just will do things to hurt themselves. First, you can see on my channel, it's pretty much all narcissists on my channel for whatever reason. They get themselves into the most trouble. So, here's what he says now. Charles, I could literally can- Yes. Cancel you, Charlie. He's saying that he's going to be able to cancel I could Charlie. Literally cancel you. Moist critical. This is apparent. This is found out on Twitter. This is something that popped out on Twitter. It's a video, unlisted that he made, but some people were able to get it somehow. I don't know. People always find ways of doing it. Uh, and basically, he's saying that he could uh, destroy Charlie. He could get him canceled. Apparently, he's saying he has some dirt on Charlie. I highly doubt it. But this is what he's saying. And I choose not to. Kind of, he's acting like the Joker, like, I don't know, like some big Batman villain almost, like some, some superhero villain thing. <laughs> he's on his high horse and his weird laugh it's he has. It's true, though. It, like, it's the truth. Like, I'm the friggin' pedo hunter. Oh, God. That's what he says. And... But I am being... I clicked this video because I thought he was talking about me. <laughs> See, his narcissistic mind is all about like, he's talking about me, so I'm going to click this video. Maybe, maybe this is what's going on. <laughs> and... What is the video's name? Obsessed Creep. So he thought, he even, he even just ratted on himself, ratted on his own belief of what he is or what people will see him as. He thought a video on Obsessed Creep was on him. That's funny. <laughs> and that laugh, that cackle that he has. Um, and the person laughing in the background that you kind of heard right here, that person is the survivor that he has living with him who he has used as an attack dog against anyone who criti- criticizes him. Oh, I'm s- are you okay? Are you sure? Why do I do this to me? Because I get it. Like, I get what I'm doing is creepy and obsessive. It is. Um, See, he just outed himself again. Jesus. But I promised them I would not let them down, and I will not. And again, that I will not let them down. I will not. He tries to be a savior. He has a savior complex and a weird victim complex thing going on as well. I think his narcissism is too strong. It 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 contradicts itself a lot. Well, let's go on to what's co- happening after that. After these, all these things happened. Uh, the videos were made with Nicholas Diario, uh, some ordinary gamers. Next po, who was a close friend of his had put this out. He said, I'd like to address something many of you may be wondering since we have so much audience overlap. There's a situation that's been unfolding lately 
regarding Mama Max and some very unethical practices he's been employing with his latest video subject. I'd like to, on the record, state that I fully disavow everything he's doing. The situation with him it has admittedly been an absolute mess, and I've tried to give him advice on how to navigate through it properly, yet it's gone ignored at every turn. I since cut ties with Max completely, someone who I thought I knew and once considered a friend. Unfortunately, isn't who I thought he, he isn't who I thought he was at all, and it's effing heartbreaking. But it is what it is. I cannot stand by someone who acts this way at, while handling such a delicate situation without any sense of tact. I'm quite frankly embarrassed I ever stood up for him in the past. And while I can't take that part back, I can at least move forward without much, without any further support. To any of you affected by my friendship with and support with Max in the past, I sincerely apologize. I typically am better than this at vetting who I associate with. However, after this S storm, I feel like I've really, I've never really known Max at all. So even his friends are like, yeah, I'm done. This is, this guy <clears throat> has no tact. This guy is just doing everything the wrong way because of people like him actual predators actual people who do things get away because these people mess up police investigations they mess things up by not getting evidence the right way by doing things that would be seem more harassment seem more unethical and sometimes even illegal they make it really hard for the actual authorities to get anyone arrested and anyone in jail for what they have done that's why I'm not for predator poachers. I'm not for people who hunt predators this way. Leave it to the authorities, even though the justice system can be very slow. I admit it can be very slow on these situations. Still, you have a better chance letting the police handle it than you doing it yourself a lot of times. Unless you know what you're doing, which Mama Max does not. This video has gone for a very long time. I do apologize for that. Let me know down below what you think. Let me know what you're thinking on this whole situation. Let me know if I've said anything wrong. Also... In the, in, you know, let me know that in the comments, but below I have all of my social media, my Discord, my Twitter, all of that stuff. Also, beyond that, YouTube is going to be showing some videos on your screen that you may like, you may enjoy, or you just may be interested in. Let me know if all of these videos are great for you, and of course, watch. Thank you so much. This is Matt Salvi. I will be seeing you all next time. Bye-bye.